Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Today we are going to Harwell, which is sort of like around Didcot area by the A34. Currently just getting loaded with um, some sharp sand. <laughs> I made this mistake the other day where I forgot to check. Well, I didn't forget to check. I got loaded and then I went to weigh myself and I accidentally opened my tailgate muscle memory um, while I was loaded <laughs> and uh, only a little bit of sand come out um, which is fortunate and I wasn't even on a main road which is also fortunate so I had to tip it all off and get reloaded again but every time every time I get loaded since I panic and I just double check to see if the tailgate is actually closed it is closed so we're good <laughs> right so yeah we're getting loaded with sharp sand we've got to take this to uh, Harwell campus there's a site around there being built uh, around the back of it so that's where we're going to go 20 mile an hour speed limit around there and then from there we've got to go across the road pretty much um into harwell itself uh there's a taylor wimpy site and uh we've got to take either tarmac or concrete out of there so it's basically like hardcore um which is good stuff because it comes out normally nice and tidily i think we're done all good excellent yeah so that that stuff comes out really really well and cleans your bed at the same time <laughs> i don't know how many runs we got planned for now um i haven't checked my paperwork i think it said six for the day which would mean five from there but i'd i'd double check that later on um because right now it's not important how many we do we'll uh, we'll just crack on best we can and uh yeah so yeah welcome to the channel anyone who's uh a new subscriber hello my name is luke those of you who have been long time subscribers i really really do appreciate it times are hard at the moment if i'm honest with you um the job itself i'm doing is all right i'm enjoying the job itself but the content for you guys isn't necessarily the best so um which is why I've, why there's less videos i've been getting asked a lot like have you quit youtube uh does earthline have a problem with you doing youtube videos no I haven't quit. Earthline ain't got a problem with me doing the videos. It's just, if I don't find what I'm doing very interesting for the day, I, how would I come across as watchable? Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I think I think that's that was the problem. Well, that's that's why I'm not really uploading as much. I'll give an example. The other day, um, I was doing a job, and it, it, it's ten runs backwards and forwards, and that's just one day. But I also did that three times that week so you know it's it, it's things like that so you know anyway let's get on out of here i can't show you too much because we've got some machinery coming up and i said i wouldn't show any machinery so see you in a bit okay so we're about to jump onto the weigh bridge now be weighed I'll find out what our total weight is just need to get a pen oh yeah uh sharp sand 31, 220. Alright, thank you. He's got a tractor on the left there, he's letting me through. Right, so now we know how much we weigh in total. We weigh 31 tonne, 220 kilograms. Maximum allowed legal weight is 32 tonne. But because now we know what our gross weight is can get my calculator so our gross weight is 31 to 20 that's how much we weigh in total if you take away your tear weight which is how much you weigh when you're empty which i know is 13 or 500 which is pretty heavy for this truck minus that away it gives you your um net weight which is 17 ton 720 kilograms so that's how much um sand we got on 17 ton 720 and while we're here, we'll just double check how many runs we've got planned. We've got six runs planned. Six. So that's this one, which is sort of like the, the run to get you there <laughs> in that direction. And then, um, and then five later out of uh, Taylor Wimpy. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it said tarmac or concrete. Mark accordingly. So it's whatever they got. It's normally hardcore slash rebel. Uh, and it comes out, comes out a treat, leaves your bed nice and shiny. <laughs> Um, anyway, as I was touching upon earlier about um, doing the same thing over and over again. So yeah, like I said, um, last few days I've been doing this particular site in Andover. It's like 10 runs a day. One day I only did eight because I had to do something else. 
and it's just repetitive it's just again and again and again see the same roads and not only is it bad enough for that one day but then you do it the day before or you do it the next day i did it like three times last week and twice the week before that and it's it's actually the same vlog the same place i did in my last vlog um which was was all that topsoil so yeah it's it just, just a bit bit repetitive really so um that's why there's less vlogs out because a lot of the work i'm doing is sort of the same stuff but interesting story about about that site in andover um i went up to um the digger to get loaded and the digger driver goes uh are you that one off youtube <laughs> i was like yeah <laughs> so what have i done now <laughs> he goes i oh, nothing he goes uh, i just saw your video last night uh my he goes my boy thought it was quite funny uh, i was like oh cheers mate and he was he asked about like am i allowed to just film random people <laughs> to, and um you know in my defense i wasn't really filming him i was just filming myself <laughs> So it's a bit of a grey area, I think. Never mind. Right, let's um, let's crack on to Harwell because I've been to this site before. I'm uh, I'm, I'm feeling alright, but the first time I went there, it's, it's at the back end of nowhere of Harwell. We'll see when we get there. But anyway, for now, let's crack on. See you in a bit. Right. Okay. So we are nearly here. Um, I can remember roughly where it is, but I can't remember the entrance. <laughs> I think it's the next one. It might not be the next one actually. It might be the one after that. I know the CB's going mental today, getting lots of feedback. Ah yeah, we went past those structures there. Okay, so yeah, we go down to the next one then turn right. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. You see those big massive um white structures in front obviously delivered on uh, on wide loads uh, and obviously well not, maybe not obviously but they look heavy and uh, <laughs> they say please do not forklift on it <laughs> yeah because you're not gonna go and, and get a forklift and get under one of them <laughs> no, you can see you can see there's a low load over there look one two three four five six six axles on the trailer then and then three on the truck as well they look they don't look light do they <laughs> do not use forklift <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> right um i think a lot of the residents have had um they i think they've complained a lot about trucks coming up and down these roads because there's a 20 mile an hour speed limit and uh, it, it says on the paperwork it has done for a while now on anyone who's got anything to do around here that's what we're down to epac it does say uh, obey uh, site speed limits at all times. At all times. So that's what we're doing. We're doing 20 miles now. But uh, yeah, the first time I had to deliver here, luckily there was someone I come with, and uh, he knew it was. But if I did, if I came by myself, like I am right now, then uh, I probably would have struggled to find it because. I don't know, I mean, we are on Avon Road and there's, there's, the um, street address does say Avon Road and I saw the EPAC sign, so maybe I wouldn't, but but maybe I would have. <laughs> it's one of those places, this this is Harwell uh, campus, it's one of those places where there's so many sites at the moment. Um, I could think of one, two, three, four, five sites that I've been to just here. Six if you include that car park. I uh, I over Christmas when I left JK Transport I did a day's work for Tarmac and um, Tarmac that <laughs> yeah we're heading over to that red crane over there don't know if you can see it on the uh, on the sat nav or not but yeah we'll tip this sharp sand off and then we'll pull over I might give my windscreen a little bit of a clean it wasn't too bad when I left but the sun is shining on it and the uh, screen washes and get rid of the bugs and uh, and then this next place we're going to, there appears to be a weight limit, so I might need to go a certain way around. I'm not sure yet. I have to wait and see. There's a truck in there by the looks of it. It's telling me to stop. It wants me to turn around. Okay. Okay. Put 
put the beacons on. And reverse. I learned how I uh, I learned that the uh, the truck has a, a third reverse gear, which is what we're in right now. Drops the revs and makes you go a bit faster. Morning, Morning mate. You're right. Sharp sand. Sharp sand. Just one sec. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. Yeah, last time I was here, I drove in, drove to the right, and then reverse up to the left. Uh, obviously, we're, we're reversing in now, so we're going to reverse round to the right, I believe. Need to get a swing on. Oh, it's busy in here. Just wants me to stop here a sec. I'll take this opportunity to put my sheet up. There's no cables. Uh, sharp sand, mate. Okay, 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 okay. Give me two minutes, please. Yeah, no worries. Do you want to sign the paperwork now while we wait? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your name, buddy? Spell it. <laughs> one second, yeah. All right, mate. Uh, I think where they want it, there's uh, stuff in the way at the moment. I need to get someone to move it out of the way. Get the uh, mark as well. Pardon? Collected mark as well. No. No. No, not me. Only delivery, yeah. Yeah, only delivery. Okay, okay. We're gonna keep it on the same place. You will see when you reverse there. You yep. will see the, the All right, mate. No worries. Take it. We're not reversing yet, then. <laughs> uh, not signing yet, rather. Oh, he's not. He's not watching me back. No, he is. Yeah, I don't, I don't move until I see an Anne saying move. If he tells me to stop, I ain't moving again until he tells me to move. Otherwise, I don't know where we're going. Well, we need to get a swing on, a big swing on. That's the sand behind me now, I can see. Excellent. Right, do you want to sign this, buddy? Yep. Well, how do you spell your name? There we go, mate. Thank you. There you go. Da, 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 da. Right, don't, don't keep it on the on the this uh, pallet too much, yeah. Okay. If it's coming more on, on this side to to the move forward. Yeah. yeah all right. Yeah, so there's a pallet of tubes 
uh, alongside my third axle. So he doesn't want the sand on it, obviously. Should be able to go all the way up. Excellent. Do apologise for that annoying noise. It's close to that pallet there. All good. Thank you. No worries, mate. You Just need to clean the back end a sec. Uh, 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 uh. Right. So, uh, health and safety's here apparently. So, uh, I think that's why they're all panicking a bit. <laughs> Cheers, mate. And uh, someone just come along with a digger. And just said to the banksman, why did why does he tip there for? <laughs> Sorry, really bad accent. And uh, yeah, apparently they want me to tip somewhere else, but never mind, he's off now, so. Not a lot I can do about it, if it's already off. Right, we're just gonna pull up on the, uh, on the right-hand side here. I do have a colleague, which is uh, supposed to be coming here as well, but, um, they had to get a tyre changed. So, um, if I am here, well, I just want to clean the windows in a sec. If I am here, it'll help him spot the entrance if he's not been there before. I don't know if he has or not. Right. So I've come this way because the other way looked like there was a width limit. And I've just gone past a sign saying there's a width limit here as well. Which is not good. The way I was originally going to come. Um, Sat-nav sat is pink, which means unsuitable for HGVs. Uh, be it weight limit or width limit or length limit. And Google Maps, there was a sign that clearly said six foot six. I just come down here and there's another sign saying width limit as well, which is not good. Um, I've never been to this site, so I don't know what other way around, whatever way to get in is. Normally when there's width limits, there's like chicanes in the road. But I only need to go left and right, then I'm on the right road I need to be on. I'm wondering now if I've ever come the right way. Don't need to indicate, go around here, Luke. So that's the road I want, on the right. Grove Road. You're just going to keep coming, are you? You know, it's a bit wider here. She could have stopped, but no, you carry on. Right, Taylor Wimpy is apparently on the right, according to Google. Whether it actually is or not is a different matter. Uh, 
Uh huh. So where do I need to be? I don't know if I'm supposed to be down here or not. The roads do look like they've had trucks on them. You can see tire marks. Stop here, delivery vehicle holding area. Ah, there's enough flying in there already. All right, mate, do I just wait out here? All right, mate, no worries. Which way did you come in then? Did you, when you come back out, will you turn left or right? No, no, I mean when you get onto the main road, will you be turning left or right up there? All right, wait, no, it's fine. All right, so we're here. I was just trying to get some uh, some more directions and I believe he came in the same way I have. I believe. Never mind. <laughs> Whether he has or not, I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna, he said, wait out here. I can see him just there. I think when he comes out, I'll drive forward, reverse on down and um, get loaded with whatever it is and then go from there, really. Sun's, sun's blinding, I might take my top off in there. Bless me. Coronavirus, woo! Right, we, uh, we're backed in. I, uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is we're being loaded with. It looks like dirt, but with a lot of stone in. Yeah, it's basically dry mud. It's still going to come out pretty nice. Where they want it on the tip, I don't know. We'll soon find out. I don't know who's going to sign it either. Excuse me, mate. Who signs the paperwork, bud? Yeah. Is that you, is it? Ugh. If I just get your name, buddy. How do you spell that? There we go, buddy. Stop working. I've continued working for out. Yeah, I haven't working. End stop. No. Some some of our drivers have been furloughed, but exactly. yeah, but half of us have been carrying on still. So. What means you don't interact with no one, do you? That's it. Yeah, in the truck, we're signing. Just pass the paper. That's it. Okay. Nearly done. He's got quite a small bucket, so it's taken a while to be loaded. But uh, one more bucket, we should be done. Maybe two, but I think we'll be all right with one. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we're good. We are good in the hood. He's just flattened it down. It's hard to tell what it is, because it is mud, but it's also very stony. I can see the stones. There's a lot of stone in that mud, so... When we, uh... When I get to the quarry that I tip it off at, which, by the way, we're going to do any filming in, I'll, um... I'll get the guy to take a look and, uh... Tell me where he wants it. I'm just going to put the, uh... Sheet over. See my sat nav. 
now is telling me to go out. Is that the same way I come in? On no, it's not exactly the same way I come in. Oh well, we'll try it out. <laughs> See if we can do it or not. One way to find out, isn't it? Could probably do with uh, sorting this out. What way do you come in? Oh, no. Left or right? But I come in from the other way and it, it said six foot six thing. And did it say on that side as well? Ah, right. Out and left, and then um, left and right, or turn right, I don't know. So I have a saying turn right and you go straight back out to the main road. Right, I've just spoken to that driver <laughs> and he's not really too sure which way to come in either. Apparently there's a way um, that we're not supposed to come in. But both ways say there's a width limit. The problem I got now is that I'm the way the way that I think we're not allowed to come in is to the right. I think it would help if there was a sign here that said all construction traffic turn left because I think it gets even tighter down there I'm not sure but I think but the problem is this is the way I come in and uh, if we are going out the same way I come in we'd turn left and right but the sat nav is saying just go right and I don't know whether that's where the width limit was or not I, I just don't know there's, there's not a lot of signs. She don't look happy to see me. <laughs> Turn the beacons off. Yeah, there's 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 a certain way to come in, and uh, the thing is, it doesn't say anything on the paperwork about a certain way in. So, if they want us to come a certain way in, they should really say on the paperwork what way to come, shouldn't they? Really. You're welcome. I need to make a judgment call now, left or right. Um, I'm gonna go left and right because there's a lorry there and I might not be able to get round in one go. Part of Harwell. Yeah, well, this is the way I come in, and I know I can get in this way, so I just play it safe. It adds a couple of minutes onto the journey time, but just play it safe in it. There's a cyclist coming down. Oh, yeah, oh, that's something I was going to do. I was going to do like a commentary drive, so as soon as I see stuff that I'm thinking about, I. Uh, I mentioned it a bit like then. I saw that cyclist quite early on. The thing is, by the time you say it, <laughs> it's uh, after you've even thought about it. Do you know what I mean? Ah, anyway, we're going to get cracker lack in. There is going to be an issue uh, outside, literally almost opposite the quarry we're working out of today. There's uh, there's a recycling centre and. Um, it seems that uh, after all this COVID stuff, it's uh, decided to reopen and uh, cause mayhem on the roads. So, yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of traffic queuing up on the main A road to get into the recycling centre, which is going to be a pain in, pain in the ass, if I'm going to be brutally honest. Pain in the ass. We'll see, we'll see. When, when I first got the job, this... Uh, well, I got it over the weekend, but when I really first started looking into it this morning, I thought to myself, only six runs. I'll have that done by lunchtime. But I can see now why it is only six runs in total. He had a small bucket, so it's going to take a while to be loaded. You were talking like, I don't know, I don't know, like I was there for like 25 minutes, I think. 
Um, and then the traffic that they were obviously expecting as well, so car overtaken. Anyway, let's get going, let's get going. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, just around the corner now from the quarry which we're, uh, we're taking this to. I don't think there's any traffic at the uh, at the recycling centre. Nothing's popping up on the sat nav. So we should be good. There's a, a lorry there though, we're going to have to overtake that. All clear. Brilliant. Uh, it's good that they've got that side out, no right turn ahead, so traffic going this way should be able to free flow. But it's uh, traffic coming the other way. <laughs> Queues ahead, let's have a look. It means we're going to get people trying to overtake as well, probably. Right, we're good, we're good. We're okay at the moment. Yeah, recycle centre's just there on the right, look. But this morning they were already queued up to get out. And, uh, there we go. And yeah, I can see, when we come out of here, I can see us having to queue up just to try and get past it. If the cars are queuing all the way down there as well. We will see. Anyway, let's get this off. And, uh, see you on the way out. I'll go around you. Ugh. In a bit. Okay, so that's that one tipped off. Um, I might be able to show you a bit on the next run actually because we go quite far down in the tip and there's no machinery around other than the blade. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I might show you on the next one. That's that one done. Four more to do uh, for the scheduled runs. I, I could definitely see now why, <laughs> why there's not so many. Uh, takes a while to get loaded. Potential traffic here all the way down in the tip as well, so you're, at, you're actually in the tip for a while. Um, you, it's not a case of just coming here and gone in five minutes, you're, you're in here for about 10, 15 minutes, because you've got to go so slow because of the bumps. And uh, so yeah, I can see why it's going to take a while. Can we get out of here? Yeah, we can, it looks all right. No traffic. Hopefully it stays like this. But it might be a case that we can't A, get out, or B, when we get here, we're stuck here until we can overtake. But yeah, there's the recycling centre, Stanford Recycling Centre. Anyway, let's crack on, let's go, uh, go get our third load for the day. Third of six. See you in a bit. Right, okay, so, yeah, that. see, two metre, six plus six, except for access. And it's uh, the same on the other side, as far as I'm aware. Either, either way in, so... Yeah, we've, we've already been down here, so we know we can get through. The, the, the only thing I worry with is when I see that sign, is that there'll be a chicane in the middle of the road and you physically can't get past. But it looks like they put that there to deter HGVs from coming down. That's what it looks like. But uh, yeah, we're we'll going uh, we'll go nice and slow, because we're not in a rush. Take it nice and wide for these uh, pedestrians. I always try and go on the opposite side of the road. When when there's like uh, elderly people, or kids in particular, I always try and get well out of the way. Nine out of ten times, they don't even acknowledge that you've done it, but I always do it if I can. It's nice houses up here. Nice houses. Right, I heard someone on the CB saying coming into Grove Road. So I might as well give it as well. Just going past the pub, coming into Grove Road. The heart of Harwell. Brilliant. We are turning right. Go on mate, off you go. that lorry doing? Is he there? 
waiting for me or is he there because he's putting the signs out? I think he's waiting. Actually, is there actually anyone in it? I don't think there's anyone in it. No, he's parked up. Road works there. Oh, that van appears to be going quite fast. Come on, um. He flew up that corner and now he's going really slow. <laughs> yeah, I like that way. But I do get the feeling some drivers are coming in from the other direction. We're still not really sure which way we're supposed to go. Never mind. We're here, that's the main thing. I'm pretty sure someone's already in here, so we're going to be waiting outside again before we drive on in. He, um, when I um, got here last time, he said reverse in, but uh, then he said drive in, then reverse back. And I actually think it probably will be easier to reverse it. I don't know. I'll drive in again, see what it's like, but it was a bit tight. There's a few stuff around. The steering wheel on this DAF is so heavy. It's just hard to turn the wheel quickly. And there is a driver down there. So I will just reverse back so he's got enough room to get out. And sit tight here. Engine off. Save some fuel for the environment and all that. So yeah, Ugh, I can I can see why it's going to take a while to get these ones done, but here's what it is. That's a typical daft sound, by the way. <laughs> it's worse than the MAN that I had, <laughs> all the uh, warnings that pop up. <laughs> right, our turn to go in and. Uh, yeah, let's drive in, let's drive in. I got the complete wrong an angle to get in mind, but let's drive in. Just scraped the fence. We good? Yeah, we're good. We're in. It's a bit tight, that fence there. Ba, ba, ba. So yeah, that digger right in front of us is where we need to be. So we're gonna turn right and then reverse on in. No banks been on this site like there was on the other one. <sighs> Cleared the fence, now we can turn left. And we're just waiting for the honk for when to stop. There we go. <laughs> gonna lift the tail, the, uh, gonna lift the body up as soon as he uh, moves his bucket out of the way. His bucket's in it at the moment. There we go. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Now uh, now we can weigh what we got. If I, if I just show you, look, you can see what I can see. There we go, look. So yeah, that's me getting loaded. Um, he's done two buckets and there's only 1,200 kilograms so 
we're talking about 600 kilograms a bucket. So there's that one going in, and that will tell me how much is gone in. So it was 1,200. Oh wow, that was uh, that's, that's about 800 kilograms on that one. So happy days, happy days. We'll uh, we keep getting loaded, and then uh, get on out of here. Right, you join me on my fourth load of the day. We've uh, got the foot, the other load tipped off. We went back and get it reloaded, and now we're heading back to the quarry again to get our fourth load off. Remember, we've got two. Uh, sorry, we've got six, six scheduled for the day. So two more after this. Uh, day's not going too bad. I've only got 25 minutes of driving time left. I think what I'm going to do is. Well, I'm definitely going to get this tipped off. Uh, but then it's where I'm going to have a break. <laughs> uh, by the time I get out of the quarry, I'm going to have like 15 minutes driving time left. And uh, yeah, where am I going to park? That is the question. I'm not going to be able to get all the way back. So I might have to have my break in the quarry, potentially. Which is fine. No problem with that. Got internet, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's a uh, lovely day today. Really enjoying today nice gentle drives no rush what i do when i've done another six loads is obviously i'll make a phone call and uh find out what we're doing if anything from there but at the moment today's gone rather marvelous rather marvelously spectacularly perfectly fine <laughs> right let's get this load off see you in a bit okay so oh, the thing i hate about this daf if, if you turn the ignition off one click after the, after the engine's been on. You can't then click it back on again. You've got to turn it all the way to the left before you can turn it back on. Right, good news. Our brake's finished. <laughs> Why is that good news? I don't know. <laughs> well, but it is good news. Because I just said so. Anyway, we're, uh, brake is over. We're now heading out. Just, uh, yeah, just been chilling out on the phone. Talking to a couple of other vloggers. I might as well shout them out while uh, while I'm here. So I spoke spoke to Chuck Craig this morning. Uh, I've just been on the phone to Wittering Trucker, just having a conversation, just getting to know people. So yeah, nice nice chat to you, mate. Nice little chat. Spoke about the YouTube and stuff and how I'm feeling about it and things like that. Anyway, two more runs to do. I just saw I saw my dad leave the yard as well oh and also i don't know if i've included it in the in the vlog but there was a les is it les paul les paul haulage um he uh, the driver of that came up and knocked on my door while i was on the phone to waiter and trucker um and then he realized i was on the phone so he, he went again so I, I do apologize mate he said he saw me appear but so nice nice to see you mate sorry i couldn't talk <laughs> i was on the phone but uh yeah Two more to do. Uh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I'd be very surprised if we're not back by half past three with our last load. So all good, good in the hood. Ah, oh, this is taking a while to get out, isn't it? I'm a little bit surprised there's no traffic here. I really thought there was going to be traffic. Can we make it. Can we make it. Yeah. Nothing coming. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that there's uh, that, that 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 there hasn't been more traffic. But you know, that's a good thing that there hasn't been more traffic. <laughs> right, let's get going. Let's go get the fifth load. Yeah, fifth load for the day. See you in a bit.
didn't tell you. Obviously, at the beginning of this video, we were worried about um, going the wrong way in. And uh, I thought, do you know what? Let's just go out the other way, see what it's like. It is so much easier. Like, it is a bit narrower. Uh, but it is, it's straight road, basically. No buildings, no pedestrians, no houses. So it's safer that way. Um, just got to try and figure out which turn it is because <laughs> um, I haven't come back in this way yet. There we go. There we go. So it says, it says, Harrow Village, six foot six, width restriction, which is what I saw on Google Maps. But uh, th that's why I went in the other way uh, at the start of the day. But there is no restriction. If anything, it's even easier. Thank you very much. Let's find the gear. Yeah, as long as you don't come across uh, any other vehicles, just going to put a message out. Just coming down Grove Road, just in case anyone is coming out. Because, yeah, if there, if there was another lorry coming out, we'd get past each other, no problem, but it just, uh, we'd have to slow down and be wary of each other. But, yeah, no, I found this way was a lot easier than going past the houses. So maybe, maybe the way I was coming in this morning is the way you're not allowed to come in. Who knows? Uh, all I know, all I know is that the uh, someone said on the CB earlier you've got to go a certain way, but I couldn't make out which way they were on about. But there's nothing on the paperwork, so. Oh, can I come in? Can I come in? So yeah, once we get loaded with this load, uh, we have to get. Oh, why are you driving back for? I could have got past you. There was enough room for me to get past you, and you started reversing. Uh, yeah, we get loaded with this load we're going to get now, and then one more after that, and that's the scheduled run is done. And then uh, make a phone call and see what we're doing from there. We'll either go straight back to the yard empty or get loaded for the morning. I suspect. Might be wrong, but I suspect. There we go, and then this is the end of it. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit narrow, but it's a lot better than going past all the houses. And it's quicker <laughs> as well. So, quicker, safer. I think that's the better way to go myself. Either way you go, there's a width restriction, so. Never mind, donkey. Oh, someone's coming out. Is there anyone else in there, mate? Hi, right, mate. Right, in we go. Matey boy just said, uh, watch out because he's loading it quite high or something and it's, uh, it looked very brooky then. What we've been taking before looked like mud but with uh, stones in, whereas this looks like pure bricks. So hardcore basically, proper hardcore. But he said watch out because he's loading it and it's uh, going everywhere. In reverse. Excellent. Wait, clear the gate, turn left, there we go. He's on this side now. There we go. The 
just put the body up before he gets his bucket on it. There we go. I'll just check the tailgate again. I just can't help myself but check the tailgate. <laughs> right, while he's doing that and getting loaded, I need to write out another ticket for my last run. And I also need to change the GoPro batteries because you're running low. I could charge you up, but why charge you up when I got spare batteries? So let's do that. I can go over there. I'll see you when we are loaded. Right, we're just leaving now. Coming out of Taylor Wimpy onto Grove Road. Give the announcement we're leaving. Just in case there is anyone on the way back in. He's not going very slow, is he? So yeah, beautiful weather. Um, I think there's four of us on this today, I'm not sure, so we could we could be uh, coming across someone. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, we are loaded with uh, hardcore, I uh, suspected. So when we take that to the tip to be recycled, um, I believe uh, it's pretty much near the entrance, the hardcore pile. So, um, yeah, uh, we won't have as far to go in the tip, which means it'd be quicker to get out again. Uh, oh yeah, and I just realized I never showed you tipping further on. I was on the phone at the time, so I, uh, I couldn't do it. Never mind, never mind. You don't need to come to a complete stop, but thank you. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit after half past three now. The, the trouble is it takes so long to get loaded. So long. We'll, um, we'll not be back here until maybe ten past three. So, uh, and then we probably won't leave here till half three and then back there for four, so. But as long as I get my six runs in, I know that I've done what I need to do. I don't want to be uh, missing any loads if I can help it. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are then, entering site for our, well, it's the fifth time here. Uh, it's our final load scheduled load of the day it's uh, 5 to 3 in the afternoon as well he's taking his bucket off why is he taking his bucket off you are not done yet mate <laughs> I've got another run and um, I'm not sure but I think well, I, I'm pretty sure I'm ahead of at least one of the other guys. He's a load behind me, I'm sure. And he's going to be ages. I don't think he's going to be back to do another run. Personally, I think he's run out of time. So... I don't know. We'll just do what I can do. I'm not worry too much about what other people are doing. I think that's the best of philosophy. We're going back. Digger driver's going back to uh, where he was when I first arrived. That's good. See if this bloke on my uh, on my right hand side says anything as I go past. No. Yeah, he's using like one of the most smallest buckets you can use. And it's just taken ages to be loaded, which is what's. That's why we can only get six runs in, or five runs in. If we had a bigger bucket, we'd be able to do a lot more. I'm not tight. I'm not quite sure where he's fucking. Not quite sure where he wants me. <laughs> he 
he did, oh man, he's supposed to beat me when to stop, but I went so far back that I could not go back anymore. And then he honked his horn. So I'm not sure if I'm in the right place or not. Well, he's loading me, so I must be. Right, so we've actually been here for quite a while now. Um, what time did we get here? We got here at three o'clock. And uh, it's half past three now. One more bucket would be done. Uh, there was a bit of an issue with the uh, the digger whereby it was, uh, well, it was broke. Is he putting another one on? I just put the bucket down and beat the horn. Yeah, he's straight he's straighten it up now. Bam bam bam. Yeah, he's straightened it up. Just cleaning the edges, getting it away from the sides. Thank you very much. Right. Now we're out of his way, we can uh, put the sheet on. Yeah, so there was the problem with the uh, with the digger. Um, the pin that was holding the bucket or something was uh, was halfway hanging out. And they, just, they needed to bang it back in. So they spent a good sort of 10, 15 minutes trying to bang, bang it in I got out and I spoke to him I said oh, you know is the digger still working will I still be loaded and they said yes so uh, I was like, all right no worries and then uh, they said yeah right we're ready to load you now so I jumped back in the truck and uh, one of our other colleagues were waiting outside so I told him the situation what was going on I said uh, I'm not even loaded yet because I was supposed to be loaded by then by the time he got there I said, oh, they've only just started, I said, um, the digger broken down, so they've only just got it up and running again. So we made a phone call and they've, uh, the office have sent him somewhere else to do something else. So, yes, that's what he's doing. Us, on the other hand, we're now heading straight back to Stanford in the Vale. Our ETA there is about four o'clock, which is actually quite late. Um, Bearing in mind, from <laughs> from there back to the yard, you're talking half an hour, and then uh, yeah. So today is actually going to be one of the later finishes I've ever had working for this company. I won't be home until gone five o'clock. That is for sure. So, but you know, we just take it as it goes. Not the end of the world, is it? <laughs> Plus, you know, I get paid quite well to do this job, so I'm not, I'm not too fussed. Thank you very much for waiting. They're still waiting, though. Nothing there. Anyway, I better just put an announcement out just in case. Coming out of Taylor, Wimpy on Grove Road. Just in case someone is coming in. I don't think they are there. I think I am the last one for the day. Happy days, happy days. Right, let's get a crack a lack in. Uh, I want to get back safely as possible, but as quickly as possible. Get this off, make a phone call, see what I'm doing, because I might need to reload for the morning, or like I said earlier, I might go straight back to the yard empty. I don't know yet. Thank you. See you in a bit. Okay, hello everybody. We are at the end of the day. And as you can see, well possibly see, we're getting loaded. Just got to write out the ticket. Yeah, so we um, we tipped up the uh, the muck at Shellingford. It was kind of a cross between the muck and the hardcore. So we tipped that at Shellingford, and then we just uh, dropped across over here. Get a load of sharp sand, and we're taking this back to the yard where we're going to tip it in the yard. Whether it's tonight or tomorrow, I don't know. But uh, that's what we are doing. 
gonna write down the details. Sign that. There we go. So yeah, rather fittingly, we're uh, ending today's vlog where we started. This is exactly where we were the first thing this morning. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed the vlog. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.